Okay, Algebra 2, Module 3, Lesson 12. In this lesson, we have established six logarithmic properties for positive real numbers, X and Y, and real numbers R. Number one, log of one is zero. To what power can you get one? Anything to the power of zero is one. Okay. What about log 10? Well, we have to say to what power of 10 do we get 10? Well, that's 1. Log 10 to the R power. To what power of 10 do we get 10 to the R power? Well, we just have to have an R in there. Now, 10 to the log. 10 to the power of log x equals what? Just equals x, right? Think of that one as log uh, 10 log 10 x. 10 to the what 10 power gives me? X. Well, X would give me that. So 5 is log of X times Y equals log X plus log Y. That's the same thing as our exponent properties, right? And then 6, uh, six is log X to the R power is equal to what? Remember, we can always bring out that exponent. Okay? And then just multiply it by the log of x. Okay. Now, using the properties from 1 through 6 of logarithms to establish property 7, so this is a new property here, log 1 over x is equal to a negative log x. And we've already talked about this a little bit, but why is that? Why would that be the case? Say it one more time. Yes. So log would be to the x to the negative 1, which is also equal to negative 1. Remember, we would just bring that exponent to the front. Negative 1 log x, which is the same thing as a negative log of x. Okay, now that notice that that is when x is greater than 0. Okay, x has to be greater than 0 for that. Anything confusing about that? All you need to think about is your, kind of goes all the way back to your exponent properties. Right? When we have something in the denominator, it's a negative. So negative x. I right, use properties 1 through 6 to establish property 8. Log of x over y is equal to log x minus log y for when x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. Now, how are we going to get that? That was a little bit trickier. We would just have log x, right? Now, we would also break it apart and we could say log 1 over y, right? Because that means we've multiplied it together. If we had that, we would multiply the x times 1 over y, which is equal to x over y, correct? Everybody see that? Everybody good with that? 
So now then, how would we rewrite this? Log x. Now what are you going to do? Think about what we just did in that previous problem. Yeah, because we would rewrite that as plus log x to the negative 1. So then it would be log x minus log, oops, that needs to be a y there, minus log y, right? And that would be the exact same thing. You're going to have to get good at manipulating these things, okay? Got to get good at manipulating it. Everybody good with that?